In these problems, we're looking at types of symmetry. And there's really two main types that we're going to be dealing with here. One has to do whether a figure has symmetry when you reflect it, and that would be reflection or reflectional symmetry. And the other would be, does it have symmetry when you rotate it? So that would be rotation or rotational symmetry. Let's take a look at this first one. It says, which type or types of symmetry does the figure have? And if you want to um, see whether it has reflection symmetry, what you'd want to do is see, is there a line you could draw somewhere where you get a mirror image on the other side? And if I try to through this way, it doesn't work because I have eyes up here but not down here, so they're not symmetrical across a line like that. But if I were to draw a line down here, I think what you'd find is if you put up a mirror right there or you folded this over, it would match up perfectly. These eyes are going to match up with these eyes. These eyes are going to match up with these eyes. Um, or triangles. I guess they look like people to me, so I'm calling them eyes. So this has reflection or reflectional symmetry. Let's look at another one. This one says, which type or type of symmetry does the figure have? And we've got this complicated figure down here. And <clears throat> this one, you know, it, it's a little tricky. You might know that if you drew a line here and reflected it, that wouldn't match up because this would go down here and these don't match. But you might think to yourself, what about a diagonal line? Well, if you were to do this, try to reflect it over this diagonal line, what you notice is that this little end of this figure up here is on top here and you don't see it on the bottom here, so that wouldn't work. The same thing is going to happen if you try to reflect it over another diagonal line. It, it, these figures aren't going to match up. So reflection doesn't seem to be working here. How about rotation? And this can be hard to imagine in your mind's eye, although the more you practice it, the better you'll get at it. But let's just, let's just try here with, with this one. I, I printed out another copy here and cut it out here. So when we rotate something, we're spinning it. So let me just spin it 90 degrees and see what we get. Well, this is not the same figure. Things are in different places here. But let's rotate it another 90 degrees. So I've rotated 180 degrees. And I think what you'll notice is that these figures are exactly the same. So this does have rotational symmetry on an angle of 180 degrees of rotation. All right, one more. This one says, if the figure has rotational symmetry, name each angle of rotation that results in an image that matches the original figure. And again, for this one, I've, I've cut out um, the same figure so we can try it out. But let's just look at this thing first. We've got three different um, kinds of shapes inside each other. If you look at the outside one, you'll notice that along the top here, you've got sort of two larger points and a smaller point. And you see the same thing on all sort of four sides. So it's almost like this is sort of, you could think of this as a fitting inside a square. And if you were to rotate at least the outer portion of this 90 degrees, you would get the same thing happening uh, here as here. Uh, so that seems to have rotational symmetry, at least for the outer portion. Let's look at what's inside. Let's look at this next part. Here, it's, it's, we have two smaller prongs and a bigger one. And then over here, same thing. So if we rotate this 90 degrees, it looks like this is going to become over here. It looks like it's going to be the same as well. And then if we look at the very small inner one, it's sort of a, a, just a small copy of this one. And the symmetry is going to be the same. And we can test this. Let's rotate this 90 degrees. And indeed, it looks the same. Let's rotate it another 90 degrees. So that's 90 and 180 that we've rotated it so far. That looks the same. Let's rotate it another 90 degrees, so that would be 270. That looks the same. So we've got three different angles of rotation here, which create symmetrical figures. So it would be 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. And I think we've answered the question. So that's a little bit about types of symmetry.